Hey, it's LaDonna. Welcome back to our channel, Double L Cattle Farming and Hatchery. Um, today's video is going to be about growing more grass <laughs> by cross fencing and why you should try it. If you're not cross fencing, you're really missing out. Um, it's just like free grass. It's kind of funny. Uh, we've always said that we're cattle farmers, but in reality, we're really grass farmers because you know the cows actually just turn the grass into money. Is basically what it boils down to. So I guess now we're just mostly grass farmers with a few cows out here. <laughs> um, so I was talking to a friend of mine. Um, a while back and he's had cattle his whole life basically and we were talking about feeding hay and he said well i really don't um feed a lot of hay during the winter and i'm just like what <laughs> how is that possible so um he said you know he was telling me about cross fencing and so i started thinking about it and i was like well you know we might as well try it we were a little overstocked at the time trying to look for some new property um additional property so we, um, you know, cross fence one time, and just that one time, <laughs> sugar, and just that one cross fence, it was amazing how much more grass that we had. I literally don't think we would have made it through that season if we hadn't have done that. Um, it uh, shortens your hay season. Like last year we started in December, and then we were able to stop, you know, first of April. It might have been a little bit sooner than that. Um, and this year we've got more cross fencing so we're hoping to even have a shorter hay season this year and I know that varies depending on where you live or whatever and we're in northwest Alabama if you can't tell by my sweat on my lip it's very hot here still and we're we're looking forward to a little um, cooler air coming our way you know there are some government programs out there as far as getting um, help with the cost of a permanent cross fence so you might want to check into that as well um, that could be a great asset to your to your farm you know you don't have to do a permanent fence until you you know you can kind of play with it with a temporary fence and decide where you want it to be so i mean i challenge you if you if you've never tried it do you have anything to lose um, at this particular farm we use the metal fence post that you drive in with a hammer just the short ones um, and then electric wire but at our other places we mostly use the poly tape the white poly tape and um, the push-in post the ground is really hard here so it's hard to get those push-in posts in the ground at this place um, it, there was two cross fences when we came and we have increased that number to seven so um, the more times you can cross fence the better. and you know some people say well you know I've only got one water source and I just don't see how that can work and we struggle with that a little at the beginning because because at two of our places that's the case um, but we realize that you can fence off the water and then just open it up whichever pasture you want them in so that's worked really well if you confine them to one area it, you're not gonna have as much damage to your ground and um, you know your your pasture can recover hey Bitsy hello sweet girl she's a sweet baby um, it's recommended that you try to keep your animals off of a certain pasture for 42 days so you know you would just rotate them uh, just get a rotation going and, and go with that so this year we had a few army worms so we're having to skip one of our rot rotations and um, you know hopefully we can get that pasture back in shape it's getting there but uh, those things are no fun so if it's going to move my cows to a new pasture of grass this one has got to be sprayed um, we wanted them to clean it up first but I just want to show you guys how much fun this is so watch this
thanks so much for watching today um, please like and share and subscribe and by the way it is free to subscribe I didn't realize that uh, for a long time so I'm always afraid I'm gonna have to pay for something so it is free so you just have to create an account and um, then you can subscribe to anyone but we would really appreciate that stay tuned for more videos and thanks again see you later Planet, how fresh is this day? Could be any fresher or we still be grazing.